walking around these walls. I thought by now they'd fall. For you have never failed me yet. Waiting for change to come. Knowing the battle's won. For you have never failed me yet. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You never failed. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. Still in your hands, this is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. I've seen you move, you move the mountains, and I believe I'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way and I believe I'll see you do it again I've seen you move you move the mountains and I believe I'll see you do it again you made a way where there was no way and I believe I'll see you do it again Hi guys, um, that song was just in my heart this morning, so I just thought I'd start with it. I hope you're doing well. I am totally, I'm so excited about this ser sermon today. It's called The Gift of Delegation. Uh, but before I um, get into the sermon, let us pray. Father, I thank you for what you're doing, and I pray that you're doing it. And I'm thankful for you doing it again, and I pray that you do it even better the second time or third time, Lord God. I'm so grateful um, for this time together, and I'm so grateful for what you're going to do through me and through this message. And I pray that years down the road, this, this me message will echo in eternity and change lives, oh Lord, and I pray that this generation will rise up and call you a one. I declare it in the name of Jesus, hiding behind the cross. Let me speak words of love. Let me speak words of blessing over people. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you will teach us through this sermon that you've, that you've not created us to be an island, that you've created us to be a people of unity a people of strength, a people of character. Lord God, hide me behind the cross. Hide me in you. You know more than anyone that I'm flawed, but Lord, you, you use flawed people to do mighty things all the time. So use me in this manner. In the name of Jesus, amen. So guys, I have quite a sermon for you. It's a it's a unique kind of take. It's called the gift of delegation. Um, this sermon came about uh, when I was I was listening to to two very special preachers. One that is in my life and one that is not directly in my life, but one that totally inspires me um, all the time. One whose ministry I follow all the time. Um, I follow um, four ministries, my own and three others online. 
uh, from the U.S. and uh, one of the, one of the preachers from the U.S. W was talking about his health scares and his all that stuff and what he was doing um, aside from his own church because his church is new. He's not a new preacher. He's been on the scene for a while, um, but um, his his church is new, um, and not his church. But he he got a call in for, from another church to go and pastor there, and I was under the mistaken impression that since he got called the pastor he was no longer uh, speaking at other churches but I come to find out a few weeks ago that not only was he um, pastoring his own church but he was still keeping up a speaking schedule um, at other churches and the Lord began to speak to me about uh, the gift of delegation and I was so and I prayed for this person that he not that God would give him the strength to do it but that he would understand the gift of uh, delegating and and sharing the load and not taking it upon himself and plus at the same time there there's another um, person that is directly in my life uh, who is who is going through a very tough season and I see how uh, this person is delegating now responsibility to have um, in order to deal with this difficult season that they're going through and the Lord began to speak to me about the gift of uh, delegation and how how to know when to delegate. And I was so, and I was beyond pleased um, when I when I tuned into this person's webcast this week to know that. He, um, to this person who was, who was not directly in my life, but this person who I follow, when I tuned in this week, I was so relieved to see that he was not doing as much as he was doing, that he was delegating it to his ministers, his leaders, and all that. So the Lord began to speak to me about the gift of delegation um, when it comes to ministry specifically but also in our lives you know the horrible thing about this society is a lot of people are just alone and they carry burdens alone and they don't ask for help but when you don't ask for help you can do that for a while but you begin to actually um, run out of energy, run out of strength, and you begin to um, get tired physically and not, not be at your best. And uh, I think the Lord wants to uh, talk today about um about how to know when when you need help and how to delegate the responsibility and a lot of people think delegation is weakness but it's actually strength because we find strength in unity and sometimes we think doing it by ourselves is strong but doing it by ourselves doing things by ourselves when we know we need help is very egotistical to think that we only can do whatever it is but when 
we ask for help, we understand that A, we're not alone, and B, we're not by ourselves, and C, other people have giftings that if we let them go, we don't know what they'll turn into. And I think that sometimes people have the misconception that asking for help is wrong, but it's not. It actually shows a really strong person. And we are better together than we are alone. And especially when you're a pastor, um, let the team help you. That's what they're there for. Let your ministers, let your, um, let your elders, let your bishops, let the team around you help you. God called you, but he also called them to undergird you. And if you're scared that they won't do it um, like you would do it, um, that's okay if they don't. As long as they're getting whatever they need done, if they do it differently than you, it's okay. But if it's to the point where you, um, they do it differently than you, and it's a problem, all you need to do is sit down and explain to them why what they're doing is a problem and and just guide them through it. Um, it's better to explain things rather than to say, oh, I'll just do it myself. Because sometimes doing it yourself will wear you thin and something, sometimes uh, with running on empty, you don't even know you're running on empty until you're cr until you crashed because it's like a gas tank um say you fill up for gas and everything is full everything is good and then it starts to and you're full of strength you do everything you're full of strength and you never say no to anything and you're always doing everything and uh, people in your life are saying, do you need help, do you need help? And you're like, no, I don't need help. I can do it all. But slowly you find that um, as you go on, your gas tank gets to, gets to, gets to, uh, gets lower and lower and lower until you're on empty and you don't know it and, and you're stressed out and you keep snapping at people and you lose patience and your health gets crazy because I know for this one person, um, the person that I follow, um, he said his health got crazy and God had to slow him down. And sometimes God will slow you down. If you don't slow down yourself, God will slow you down. And he just wants you to know that you're not alone. There are people there to offer a hand. There are people there who love you. There are forums you can ask for help on anything and that you, you can delegate the responsibility. It, it shows more strength in delegation than it does when you do everything yourself. Um, because it shows that you trust other people's giftings, not just your own. Because other people have giftings that you, that you have no idea about. Other people have um, the tools that you need 
if you would just let it go. You have to understand that your life, your ministry, your work life, your time, it all belongs to God. And usually he puts the right people in there uh, for you to lean on, for, for you to delegate to. You just need to look around and say, God, who is designed to help me? And I know life can be lonely sometimes, but he's put people in it for you to for you to ask for help from for you to lean on you're not meant to do life alone it's not meant to be just jesus and you jesus is supposed to be the center of your life um uh the thing the spirit which everything revolves around but he's not supposed to be the only thing in your life. He said, um, he said, uh, man shall not be alone, meaning man or woman. He's designed us to live in community. He's designed us to live, um, he's designed us to live in community. He's designed us to help each other. He's designed us to need one another. And if the church would only get together in community we can do so much and to delegate tasks to other people and ask for help from other people is a strength because you know that you can't do everything you know you weren't designed to do anything to do everything you were designed to do something but not everything and i think a lot of people um a lot of pastors um um think they have to do everything you're not superman you're only one person let the people that god has put in your ministry in your church in your life at your workplace help you and I think that even in, in business even if you're a manager like delegate the task to people delegation is, is a gift that God has given you to to see somebody's gift and say you can do that better than I can I'll let you I'll let you do that so I can focus on this because it is better to, to be the master of one thing than a disaster when you try to do everything. It is better to be the master of one thing than a disaster when you try to do everything. So delegate certain tasks. Don't try and do everything on your own. Because when you, when you try and do everything on your own, you get tired and worn out and, and you slowly kill yourself. I think that's why stress is killing uh, many people in our society today because they won't ask for help and they won't delegate. And I think delegation would be the key to people's happiness. Like, even emotional help. Um, if you need counseling, if you're struggling with uh, depression, mental illness, or anything, and you need help, ask for it. If you need help in your business, ask for it. And if you see that someone needs help, um, come alongside them and say, Brother, sister let me help you let me let me show you a way we can do this let me come alongside you and and be a friend to you and be a co-worker that can that can really help you and even 
like because the, some people may be afraid to ask for help but if you see it don't be afraid to go over to that person and they may not respond well right away but but at least you planted the seed and at least they know that you're there because a lot of people don't feel that anyone's there for them they don't feel that anyone's anyone cares for them and they feel that it's not done right unless they do it for themselves and that's not right that's not true show them how to do it teach them how you do that particular thing teach them how you how you um, do that particular task and they'll learn they may not be a, as proficient at it as you but give them time and let their gifts shine um, I think because we all have a gifting God has given us all gifts and if we can see the uh, see the gifts in other people that will make our organization our church our office our workplace a heck of a lot better to be in I think that I think the gift of a true leader is to see the gifting in other people around them and to call that out. I think the job, I shouldn't say gift, I, would, I should say job of a leader is to see gifting in other people and to call that out. Father, I praise you for what you're doing. Lord God, I pray that you'll teach us, Lord, how to delegate how to ask for help when we need it. I pray that you'll teach us how not to run on empty, how not to just try and be super men and super women and do everything ourselves and, and have to lean on each other. You've designed us for community, Lord Jesus. Teach us how to be, how to be in community, how to be how one person needs to be the arm and the leg and whatever. Um, teach us, Lord. We need to be taught about how to delegate tasks effectively, how to how to focus on what we're gifting, what we're gifted up at, and how to delegate and ask for help for, for what we're not. Lord God, be our guide in the gift of delegation. In the name of Jesus, amen. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain, and we all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on, for it won't be long till I'm not on me. Somebody to lean on, you just call. On me, brother, when you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. You just, you just might have a problem. I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody to lean on. If you do what you do and delegate the rest to other people's gifting, because what you can do, what you can't do is another person's gifting. So if you do what you can do and let them do what they can do, together we'll be stronger than 
you trying to do everything. I think it's in First Corinthians that says, um, not some people are the hands and some people are the arms and people have different gifts. And if somebody can do something at a hundred percent that you can only do at 50 or that you can only do at 10, wouldn't you, wouldn't you rather them doing that test, that task at a hundred percent than you only doing it at 50 or 10 or halfway? Because if we have all these people and all these giftings operating at a hundred percent, we can change the world. If we have all these churches coming together with their different gifts and different cultures and different ways of prayer and different ways of worship, we would rock the world. We would show the world what to do. We need to come together in unity and um, we, we as leaders need to delegate tasks um, so that we don't get burnt out and stressed out and want to uh, leave the ministry. Look, so guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bless you. Love you guys so much. Take care. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I Somebody tell me he knows.